بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی لیکچر نمبر ایٹین سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی اینٹی ایپلیپٹک ڈرگس اور اینٹی کنورسن ڈرگس سو ان دس یونٹ وی ول کور دس از اور کورس ابجیکٹیو یو کین سی ہیئر کورس ابجیکٹیوز میں ہے بائی دی کمپلیشن آف دس سیکشن دی لرنر ول بی ایبل ٹو ڈسکس اینڈ دس کورس ابجیکٹیو وی ول ڈسکس دی فارماکو کائنیٹک دی سائڈ ایفیکٹ ایڈورس ریئیکشن اینڈ تھراپیوٹک پلازما پینیٹائن لیولس اس چیپٹر میں ہم اینٹی کنورسنٹس کے بارے میں یا اینٹی ایپلیکٹرک ڈرگس کے بارے میں ہم ڈسکشن کریں گے اور اس میں ہم نے کور کرنا ہے اس میں جتنے بھی ڈرگز ہیں تو ان ڈرگز کے فارماکو کائنیٹکس پروفائل کے بارے میں سائڈ افیکٹ کے بارے میں اے ڈی آر کے بارے میں اور اسپیشلی تھراپیوٹک پلازما پینیٹائن لیولز اینڈ آئیڈینٹیفائی دی کانٹرا انڈیکیشن اینڈ ڈرگ انٹریکشن ڈرگ انٹریکشن کے بارے میں ہم ڈسکشن کریں گے اس کے علاوہ کانٹرا انڈیکیشن ایکسپلین دی نرسنگ انٹروینشن انکلوڈنگ دی کلائنٹ ٹیچنگ ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا یوز آف اینٹی کنورسنٹس کیلکولیٹ دی ڈرگ ڈوز ایجوکریٹلی فار اور امپیرنٹل اینٹی کنورسنٹ ڈرگس سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ فسٹ آف آل وٹ از اے پلپ سی اینڈ سیزر سو وی نو دیٹ سیزر از ایکچولی یو کین سی دیر از اے نارمل ڈسچارج اکر فرام دی برینس اینڈ دی فارم آف وائٹ اینڈ گرے میٹرس سیزر از کلاسیفائڈ این ٹو ٹو کیٹیگریز ون از پارشیل سیزر دا سیکنڈ ون از جنرلائز سیزرس وٹ از پارشیل سیزر سو این پارشیل سیزر دا سیزر ایکٹیویٹی اسٹارٹس این ون پارٹ آف دی برینس پارشیل سیزر میں آپ کے برین کا ایک حصہ جو ہے وہ انوالو ہوتا ہے سیکنڈ میں این جنرلائز میں دی سیزر ایکٹیویٹی انوالو دی وول برین اور اس میں آپ کا پورا جو برین ہے وہ اس میں انوالو ہوتا ہے فردر دی جنرلائز سیزر از کلاسیفائڈ ان ٹو فور فائیو ڈفرنٹ کیٹیگریز ون از ایبسنس سیزر مائی کلانکس ٹانک کلانک سیزر ٹانک اینڈ ایٹانکس while the partial seizure is classified into three categories the first one is simple complex with secondary generalizations acha to ab hum padhenge absence seizures ke bare mein to specially absence seizure at its starting and blanking without falling look at the conditions اس کنڈیشن سے آپ کو یہ کلیئر ہو جائے گا کہ سیزر میں وہ کون کون سے کنڈیشن ہوتے ہیں اس کے جو کلینیکل سائن سمٹمس ہیں وہ ہم پڑھیں گے تو یہ آپ کو نظر آ رہا ہے ایپسن سیزر میں دیر از اسٹارٹنگس اینڈ بلنکنگ ود آؤٹ فالنگس مائی کلانک سیزرس لک ایٹ دس کنڈیشن اینڈ مائی کلانک سیزر دیر از جرکی مومنٹس آف دی باڈی سیزر میں کیا ہوتا ہے دی پیشنٹ اور دی پرسن بیکم ان ایبل ٹو کنٹرول ہیز ایکٹیویٹیز سو آل دی کنٹر ایکٹیویٹیز سو ایٹ بیکم این ولونٹری so in this case uh, while in uh, my clonics and tonic clonic seizure uh, there is stiffening falling and jerking of the body so uh, they are occurs uh, and tonic and a tonic condition uh, there is falling heavy to the ground and there is you can say abnormal sensation so they are occurs Uh, now further uh, the partial seizure is classified into three categories one is simple seizure so simple seizure is basically the seizure activity while start the person is alerts while in complex cases the seizure activity with change in awareness of surrounding with the secondary generalization the seizure activity began in one uh, area and spreads okay now come toward the uh, mechanism of action mode of action of anti anti epileptic drugs so the mechanism of action or mode of action of anti-epileptic drugs so they are classified into different categories so three main mechanism through with these anti-epileptic drugs are three mechanisms are three mechanisms are which are the way the anti-epileptic drugs are that which way this drug you have reached your target site and show your activity so for this طریقہ کار کچھ یوں ہیں کہ 
the uh, basic mechanism uh, of antiepileptic drugs so there are three mechanisms first, first of all the antiepileptic drug they are responsible to enhance the GABA actions the antiepileptic drug so it can increase the GABA receptor gamma immunobutyric acid as we have already discussed in my previous lecture what is GABA receptor gamma immunobutyric acid so simply anti-epileptic drugs it can increase or there is enhancement of GABA action effect. so it can potentiate and increase the GABAergic receptors as well as uh, the second mechanism they are also responsible to inhibit or stop the sodium channel functions so simple the anti-epileptic drugs its major target is to block the voltage gated channels the sodiums or gated channels when the sodium uh, channel thread become blocked so after that uh, the condition of the patient become normalized as well as the antiepileptic drug they are also responsible to inhibit the calcium to block the calcium channel so it will uh, it, they are also responsible to block the calcium channel this is the third mechanism another function other mechanism include uh, it may uh, produce or inhibit the glutamate release and blockage of glutamate receptors uh, as well as these anti-epileptic drugs, they are also responsible to block the glutamate receptors. Now come to all the classification of anti-convulsants. Uh, how these anti-convulsant drugs can act on the uh, ligand gated ion channels and how it can enhance the GABAergic receptor transmissions and how it can inhibit the EGP transmissions. EGP means excitatory glutamate pathway. So how, how it can inhibit the uh, excitatory glutamate pathway so this is very simple mechanism so all these drugs are responsible to block the sodium gated channels so look at here the action on the ion channels of anti conversion drugs so it means that all these drugs phenytoins phenytoin you know that phenytoin this is anti conversion drugs or the drug which is used in the treatment of seizures or you can say epilepsy uh, or hydantine so carbamazepines which is available in a market by trade name Tegrols, Lemotrigines, Topiramate and Valproic acid. So all these are anti-convulsants agents are all these are uh, used in the treatment of uh, epilepsy or you can say in uh, a condition like uh, uh, convulsants. So it can um, so in simple words we can say that uh, anti-epileptic drug or anti-convulsant drug so these are uh, which are mentioned here in the table phenytoins carbamazepine demotrigine topiramate valproic acid these are anti-epileptic drug and the mechanism of action the mode of action of these drugs so it can directly block the sodium gated channels uh, directly they can act on the ion channel as we know that sodium ions so actually they can block so definitely the concentration of the sodium ions so it become decreased as well as it can block the calcium ions uh, so these are the drugs ethosexamide and valproic acids they are responsible to block the calcium channels so definitely when they block the calcium channels so definitely the it means that the pharmacological activity uh, of the drug uh, become enhanced and the uh, mean that the uh, patient is going toward recovery actually I'm talking about the uh, basic classification and little bit mechanism that how these drug connect so I mean that these drugs which are mentioned these five uh, uh, drugs which I have mentioned here uh, so they can block the sodium uh, gated channels you can say voltage gated channel sodium ions while the ethosuximide and one fruit later so it can block the calciums as well as there are some drug like benzodiazepine diazepam clonazepam barbiturate spinobarbiton valproic acid gabapentine vigabetrine topiramate and filbamate so what are this actually benzo we know that all these are all these are the drugs some of them they belong to the sedative hypnotic agent some of them they are antidepressant but the exact mechanisms uh, of the like benzodiazepine so it can also act on the GABAergic receptors like diazepam as we know that diazepam it actually it is sedative to hypnotic agents while it also act as a muscle uh, relaxants 
uh, as well as uh, we can so diziform uh, it can are benzodiazepine so benzodiazepine contains uh, diziform clonaziform so actually these drug can potentiate the inhibitory effect of the GABAergic receptor gamma aminobutyric acids so this point is clear uh, here uh, barbiturates uh, contain uh, phenobarbital sulfuric acid gabapentin vigabetrin topiramate and filbamate so it can enhance the gaba transmissions it can increase or enhance the gamma immunobutyric acids so these are actually the receptors and which uh, the, these drugs can directly act upon on it to show it to show their pharmacological activities uh, while in third case uh, also there are some drug which can inhibit the uh, EGP transmissions uh, excitatory glutamate pathway like uh, filbamate and topiramate ok uh, so another compensatory mechanism of action of anti epileptic drugs ye kuch aur bhi mechanisms hai sare jitne bhi mechanisms ye main aap student ke saath jo discuss kar raha hu isme mukhtalif qisam ke drugs hai maine aapko pehle bhi kaha tha ke ek drug jo hai wo sirf hum uske zariye hum ek single disease treat nahi karte balki uh, whenever you are going to uh, treat a disease तो उसमें हम मल्टीपल मुख्तलिफ किस्म के ड्रग्स हम यूज़ करते हैं तो इसी तरह हर ड्रग की अपनी फार्माकोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी एंड दे कैन शो देर फार्माकोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी अकॉर्डिंग टू देर वेल सो द मेकेजम अपेक्शन ऑफ एंटीपेलिप्टिक ड्रग्स लाइक फेनेटाइन विच आई हैव मैंशन कार्बामजीपीन फिल्बामेट लेमोट्राइजी एंड वाल प्रोविक एसिड सो ऑल दीज आर बिलोंग टू द एंटी कन्वर्सेंट्स एंटी कन्वर्सेंट और एंटी एपिलिप्टिक ड्रग्स तो ये क्या करता है इसका मूड ऑफ एक्शन क्या है मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन क्या है किस तरह ये ड्रग अपने टारगेट साइड पे पहुंच के आ, आ, एक अपना एक्टिविटी जो है वो शो करेगा तो सिंपल इसका मैकेनिज्म ये है इसको आप समझो जितने भी ड्रग्स हैं चाहे वो फेनेटाइन है कार्बोमजीपिन है फिल्बमेट है लेमोट्राइजीन है और वॉलप्रोविक एसिड है तो ये क्या करेगा हमें ये पता है कि ए पेशेंट हु इज़ ऑलरेडी एपेलेप्टिक वो ऑलरेडी उसको स्पेशली ही इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम एपिलेप्टिक लाइक कंडीशन अब एपिलेप्सी में क्या होता है सिंपल सो बिफोर स्टडिंग फार्माकोलॉजी यू मस्ट विल हैव टू क्लियर योर कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट द बेसिक फिजियोलॉजी एंड पैथोफिजियोलॉजी अगर आपको फिजियोलॉजी और पैथोफिजियोलॉजी क्लियर है तो मैकेनिज्म फिर मुश्किल नहीं है क्योंकि एपिलिप्सी में क्या होता है एपिलिप्सी में पेशेंट के जो कंडीशन है वो इस तरह होता है कि एपिलिप्सी में दर इज ए नॉर्मल डिस्चार्ज अकर फ्रॉम द ब्रेंड्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वाइट एंड ग्रे मेटर्स तो हमने उस कंडीशन को मिनिमाइज करने के लिए पेशेंट को ट्रीट करने के लिए क्योंकि एब नॉर्मल कंडीशन है द पेशेंट बिकम अनेबल टू कंट्रोल हिमसेल्फ वो अपने आप को कंट्रोल नहीं कर सकता तो हमने क्या करना है जब भी हम ये ड्रग एडमिनिस्टर करें तो ये इस ड्रग का काम ये होता है इसका मेकेनिज्म ये होता है ये अपने टारगेट साइड पर जब पहुँच जाएगा तो वो क्या करेगा आपके बॉडी में क्या चीज आपके बॉडी में वो कौन से चैनल्स हैं वो उन चैनल्स को एक्टिवेट करके आ, उसको क्या क्या डिसेंसिटाइज या उसको डिस्टिमुलेट करके क्या करेगा अच्छा अब मैं मैकेनिज्म बता रहा हूँ कि किस तरह ये काम करता है सो द मूड ऑफ एक्शन और मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग इज सिंपली एट ब्लॉक द वोल्टेज डिपेंडेंट सोडियम चैनल एट हाई फायरिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी दिस इज वेरी सिंपल मैकेनिज्म फिनेटाइन लेट सपोज ए पेशेंट हु इज सफरिंग फ्राम एपिलिप्सी एंड यू आर गोइंग टू एडमिनिस्टर द फिनेटाइन सो फिनेटाइन कैन एट कैन डायरेक्टली ब्लॉक द वोल्टेज डिपेंडेंट सोडियम चैनल विच आई हैव मैंशन इट मीन दैट सोडियम कॉज अगर सोडियम कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बढ़ेगा तो इट मीन दैट द पेशेंट बिकम अनेबल टू रिकवर्स आप इसको ट्रीट नहीं कर सकते so that's why uh, all these uh, it can block the voltage dependent sodium channel at a high firing frequency okay now come to what the mechanism of action of anti epileptic drug another category is called barbiturates barbiturates or barbituric acids तो बार्बिचुरेट्स क्या करता है बार्बिचुरेट्स में वो कौन से ड्रग्स है उसमें डाइजीफॉर्म आता है ठीक है डाइजीफॉर्म के अलावा मेनी एंड मोर ड्रग व्हिच आई हैव मेंशंस
अच्छा बार्बिचुरेट्स दी मेकैनिज्म अफेक्शन और मूड अफेक्शन ऑफ बार्बिचुरेट सो इट कैन प्रोलॉन्ग द गबा मीडिएटेड कोलोराइड चैनल ओपनिंग्स बार्बिचुरेट्स सो दे आर रिस्पांसिबल टू कॉज प्रोलॉन्गेशंस द गबा मीडिएटेड कोलोराइड कोलोराइड चैनल ओपनिंग्स तो दिस इज आल्सो वेरी सिंपल सो इट कैन एनहांस और इंक्रीज द टाइम द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ गामा इम्यूनोब्यूटेरिक एसिड्स बाय ओपनिंग ऑफ द कोलोराइड चैनल सो then it mean that the drug will start its pharmacological actions benzodiazepine this is another group so benzodiazepines they are also responsible to increase the frequency of gaba ergic receptor gamma immunobutyric acid which mediated the chlorine channel openings and the chlorine channel had become opens acha to ye सारे जितने भी एंटी पेलेप्टिक ड्रग्स हैं जिसको मैं एक्सप्लेन कर रहा हूँ इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग माई लेक्चर्स सो काइंडली कीप मैन टच आई एम अवेलेबल फॉर यूर सर्विसेज ओके जी वाल प्रोवेट वाल प्रोवेट दिस इज एनदर ड्रग विच इज यूज इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ए फेलेप्सी अब वाल प्रोवेट क्या करते हैं वाल प्रोवेट दिस इज द ड्रग्स विच कैन इट्स का मूड ऑफ एक्शन के मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन के वॉल प्रोवेट कैन एनहांस इंक्रीज द गबा ट्रांसमिशन इन द स्पेसिफिक सर्कट्स एट ऑल्सो ब्लॉक द वोल्टेज डिपेंडेंट सोडियम चैनल एंड ब्लॉक द टी टाइप कैल्शियम करंट्स देर आर सम करंट्स टी टाइप कैल्शियम करंट्स इट कैन ब्लॉक सो विन द करंट्स विन द कंडक्शन विन द एबनॉर्मल कंडक्शन विन द एबनॉर्मल डिस्चार्ज सो इट बिकम स्टॉप सो इट मीन दैट द कंडीशन दैट द पेशेंट कंडीशन बिकम नॉर्मलाइज आफ्टर दैट ई टू सक्सीमाइट दिस इज एनदर एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग ई टू सक्सीमाइट द मेकेनिज्म अपेक्शन ऑफ ई टू सक्सीमाइट इट कैन ब्लॉक्स द स्लो थ्रेश होल्ड ट्रांसेंटी टाइप कैल्शियम चैनल्स एंड द थेलेमिक न्यूरोन्स एज वी नो दैट Uh, there is abnormal discharge and abnormal nerve firing is occur now or main target is how to stop the abnormal discharge the abnormal conduction the impulses the action potential which is generated so actually we are going to mimic to stop this conditions newer anti epileptic drugs uh, the mechanism of action of another drug which is used in the treatment of epilepsy seizure that is vigabetrin so vigabetrin they are responsible the mechanism of action of vigabetrin so it can irreversibly inhibit the gamma immunobutyric acid transaminase so this is the name of the enzyme so it will inhibit the gaba ergic you can say the gaba receptors activity uh, tega we you know the another drug that is called uh, tega beans they it can interfere with the gaba reuptake another drug is topiramate topiramate it can also block the voltage dependent sodium channel at high firing frequency and it can increase uh, the frequency at which the gaba open the chloride channel different side from benzodiazepine and the topiramate can antagonizes the glutamate action at the receptor subtype while the gabapentin this is another uh, newer agents newer anti antiepileptic drugs which may modulate the amino acids the transport into brain and may interfere with the gaba reuptake now look at here this is another drug phenobarbital so is you know phenobarbital cicobarbital so there are different drug which are used in the treatment and the management of tonic and seizure or epileptic conditions so it also come under the category of anti conversion drug the mood of action and mechanism of actions that how this ke uh, drug can show their pharmacological activities so the mechanism of action of barbo phenobarbital is actually phenobarbitals it can uh, the mechanism of action is it can increase the amount of time the chloride channels they are open which in turn depress the central nervous system because our main target is how to depress how to stop the abnormal activity the abnormal discharge the abnormal nerve firing uh, from the brain so our main target is to minimize to mimic to inhibit the uh, abnormal discharge which is occurred from the brain so phenobarbitals the mechanism of action of once again the phenobarbitals mechanism of action is they can increase the amount of times 
for chloride channels the chloride channel it become open which in turn depletes the central nervous system and this action is occurred by acting on GABA argic receptor subunit gamma immunobutyric acid a receptor subunits now there are some adverse effects which are reported in the literatures let's suppose if overdosing occurs uh, you know adverse drug reaction these are the unwanted these are the undesirable or the unwanted effects the undesirable uh, reaction which are always occur due to overdosings the unwanted effect of the drug the undesirable effects so uh, the adverse effects which are reported uh, after uh, administration of phenobarbitons so sedations sedative action is reported there may be chances of sedations uh, there may be chance of long term administration if let's suppose a phenobarbiton can be administered to the patients for a longer period of time so the behavioral abnormalities and impairment of learning and memory hyperactivity in children mental confusion in old peoples rashes may occur megaloblastic anemia and osteomalacia can on prolonged use agar let's suppose agar zyada let's suppose agar zyada time ke liye prolonged period uh, time ke liye hum isko use kar le uh, long period ke liye to isme phir mukhtalif qisam ke adverse effects hain jo literature ne already report kiya hain uh, usme ye hai ke rashes develop ho sakte hain iske alawa megaloblastic anemia ho sakta hai iske osteomalacia on prolonged use if this drug is used for a longer period of time then these type of effects they are reported by the literature uses are indication kon kon se condition mein hum phenobarbiton use kar sakte so it can be used in the treatment of generalized tonic clonic seizure gtc simple partial seizure and complex partial seizure almost it can be given at 60 mg 60 mg mein 1 2 3 times a day in adults uh, children mein phir agar bachcho mein hai let's suppose agar is qisam ke condition mein hai to phir apne uh, recommendation jo hai wo ye hai ke 3 se leke takriban 6 mg per kg body weight के लिहाज से आपने फिर इसको पेशेंट को आपने एडमिनिस्टर करना है and status epilepticus uh, it may be injected im so they are also available in intramuscular injectable form iv but response is slow to develop not effect to an absence seizures absence seizures may be effect you nahi inshallah in uh, my inshallah in my next class uh, i will talk about the uh, phenytoin that what is penetine and what is the mood of action mechanism of action of penetine and how it can be used as and its clinical indication so thank you so much for watching my lecture thank you dear if you have any question regarding my lecture so you can directly contact me i am always available for your services thank you so much